obviously Zoe is perfect. We all know this. But me, as an outsider looking in, I would probably be like, Zoe, it's okay to mind your business sometimes, sis. And then also, like, she don't be telling her mom or her grandpa where she be going. That's something I'd fix. A high five, girl. All right. What's up, guys? Xavier here with you on the How Do You Do It podcast, and I'm hanging out with the legendary Ooh. Jalen Barron. How are you? I've never been called legendary. Yeah, you like that? I like, do. like that? I haven't had nice. an intro. Yeah, little mouthpiece going on over here. I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> can you tell me? I love that, by the way. <laughs> um, can you tell me the three most memorable days you had on set, or th three most ah. memorable scenes to shoot? Oh, okay. In season three. Memorable scenes. Just. Okay, so the, one of the top three, what I think is super funny, um, it was a very long, long day on set. It was probably about, mm, I want to say 90 degrees outside, and we were riding horses in the sun with bugs all around us, and I had on like a fake ponytail. This is a real ponytail, by the way. I had on a fake ponytail, and it attached to like my bun on like my head, right? And as I'm riding the horse, like all of a sudden, I feel like this like, kind of pop, and it was my fake ponytail, like the band had ripped, and I was exposed on set. You know, everybody's. Uh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I guess it, it's called the. So it went flying when I was on the horse and it fell in some horse poop. Oh! Yeah. So then we had to clean it all. Well, we had to get a new one, to be honest. Um, and I was like, yeah, I can't wear a poopy ponytail. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't do it. But so I definitely got exposed because I think I told a few people that day that it was real. Right. And then all of a sudden I have no hair. You know, gotcha. a little suspect. If I you mean, ask I, me. I am clueless with that stuff. Like, you could have literally walked in with like a pineapple on your head, or like, and you'd been like, nice. and I'd be like, wow, that's like some healthy you said hair. You said it's different. It's yeah. different. No, have, yeah. Uh, I get tricked on the daily. All right, so all right, that was that's hilarious. So ponytail so falling more, off, and then say so maybe like a best and worst scenes to shoot. There's oh, riding the horse on um my horse on the beach, as uh, Zoe. She has a scene where she's galloping like in the water. Amazing. We were in Wales. Have you ever been to Wales? I haven't. I've been to the. I've been to London. I mean, sorry, I've been to England and Scotland and Ireland. I haven't See, been to Wales. We're in Malthus. Okay. And the it's beautiful there. Like it actually looks fake. So it was almost like a dream sequence because I'm riding on this horse and he's going super fast and all you see is the ocean coming towards you and back and forth and the wind is in your hair. I felt I felt pretty good. Okay. So I think that's probably one of the best. All right, we got one more. <sighs> and the worst scene. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I wouldn't call it the worst well, scene. Just the most challenging. Right, the most challenging. Um, it had nothing to do with like the script or anything like that. It was just the weather. So we were in prom dresses, and it was already October in Wales, in England. So I think it, it was snowing. You could see snow coming down, and we had on like these little tiny dresses with like some little boots and no jackets, and we had to be filming a whole scene on and off. So it's like they're like as soon as we would, we would break, they would be like coats on, and then we would like plop it on us and then coats off. But yeah, oh, everybody's fun. like acting is so glamorous, you know? It's all this da da da. It's like no, yep. no. In order for us, so you don't see our breath, we had to suck on ice cubes. So that way, when we would talk, you won't see the difference. Like you would still think that oh we're, we're fine it's warm but we were dying oh, but you good. know it's all for the art wow it's all I didn't for know, the art. I didn't know that was a thing that's yeah. a really cool idea yeah you wow. like or a popsicle or something like that I so you don't see your breath that that's great right i mean yeah. you know hollywood's many secrets science yeah that's nuts okay and um and i know i, I i've i've seen an interview with you where you were saying that um you were wishing that your character zoe was a little you loved you saying you love to argue and you wish she was a little bit more yes argumentative Yes. What, uh, so say if we did a, a little, uh, if I put to you, Jalen versus Zoe, oh. what would you, what would you change <laughs> if you were, if you were in the, in the writing room and you could, if and you could adjust your, uh, mm -hmm. your script and your character a little bit, what tweaks would you make? Oof. Obviously Zoe is perfect. We all know this, but me as an outsider looking in, I would probably be like, Zoe, it's okay to mind your business sometimes, sis. You know, just sit down. It's okay. Like, it's okay. And then also, like, she don't be telling her mom or her grandpa where she be going. And I know at my house, if I'm if I'm leaving, or like, even when I was younger, if I was leaving, I have to let them know where I'm going. This girl is 15 years old, walking out the house, not letting anybody know, and just being off for, like, two days. That's something I'd fix. I'm like, oh, girl, is that real? Tell your mom where you are. Exactly. Safe, text safe. her. Text her back. And then Zoe be like, I'm upset. And she'll just not talk to anybody. And I'm just like, Ugh. 
Get it together, girl. Babe. Communicate. Communication yep. is the key. Yep. <laughs> I love it. That's great. <laughs> little uh, little advice for Zoe. Little there. advice for Zoe Phillips. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So do you remember the first time you were recognized in public? I don't remember the first time I was rec- I got recognized in public, but I have a funny story. Um, after I did the series See Dad Run and it came out, you know, I thought I was going to go out in public and everybody's going to be like, oh, she's from See Dad Run after one episode mm-hmm. of the pilot. You know what yeah. I mean? Obviously, that you, wasn't the case. So you didn't have to wear a disguise or anything? You were okay? Watch. So I was at the mall with my best friend. Um, her name's Kalia. And... I was like, I want people to know that I'm on See Dad Run. And she was like, okay, okay, so this is what we're going to do. You're going to be in front of a whole bunch of people, and I'm going to come up to you, and I'm going to be like, oh, um, are you the are you Mary from See Dad Run? And I'm going to be like, yeah. And she's like, can I take a picture with you? So and then she did that whole thing with me in public, but it didn't do anything. No one cared. And nobody cared. Everybody was just like. <laughs> that is a, that is but a that's friend. a real one that's that a, real a real one right there. so i guess that's the first time i got recognized in public by right. my friend if you like what you saw make sure you check out some of our other videos right here and also be sure to subscribe to our channel right here for new videos coming out 